Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer, and today we're going to finish our level 30 Triceratops from Jurassic World the game. So today I'm just going to refine with um, this mechanical pencil, and I will also, maybe I will pen today, but I may do that in a different video. So let's begin. I'm going to alter this one a little bit from the one in the game at level 30, because I'm going to put spikes in. As you see, I already erased them, because I did them while you guys were gone, but I decided that would be fair. So now I'm just going to put them in, in front of you guys. So just put, they all look like little teeth, almost, poking out. And then I will put them along the tail, like that. And then I will also put a little bit of, like, just like, what do you call those, like, little studs or bumps of hard material, like, I don't know, you, you guys probably know what it is. So I'm just going to put in these lines to indicate where the vertebrae are. We've got sort of a ridgy ba rigid back like that. And then I'm just going to cross hatch a bit around the stomach just to give it more 3D looking. Make it more look more 3D looking. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of shading. This leg is behind so we're just going to Cross hatch in there to make it look a little darker. Then I'll also refine the toes. On the on the bottom of them, like that. Just make them look a little more real. And then I'll, I'm also going to work on the head today. Just giving Make it look more lifelike. And then also do some round strokes to make the horns look three dimensional. And give this area a little bit of shading. Again, this is not exactly like the one in the game, but. Technically, we are allowed to draw however we like as artists, right? Of course, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna put in a vein. Just do a little bit of shading there. I'm gonna also just like do the bottom, redraw the bottom line of each of these. It just gives it a little bit more realisticness. If you get what I mean. Just looks better. How about that? Okay, so I'm just gonna always we're trying to make it look more real, so So that's pretty good. It might be a little hard for you guys to follow along on this video, but do your best. <laughs> So yeah, and this one needs a little bit more shading. So the hard part is always figuring out where the sun is, like, is it pointing down or from that side? I usually have it pointing down, which is a typical thing. Right now I actually don't really have a reference image, but... So I need... But I do know that the Triceratops in the Jurassic World has like a net type of stripes going over it, but you can put those in if you want. I'm probably not, so. Um, yeah, you can put those in. I'm not gonna put any stripes in it. In the future, I will take more time to do that, so I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see it a little better. And guess what? We are going to do the pen stage. Though it might make this video a little bit longer. So I'm just going to use a regular ballpoint pen to pen this in. 
So I will start with the head. So you can, get, you can pause the video right now and get your pen out. But wait, before I do this, I'm actually going to do what I always usually do is just do, you guys are thinking, what are you doing? Just erase it so beforehand a little bit. Not completely, but if you get what I mean like that. So you can still see the lines, but because if the pen, it's harder to, um, it'll like, it won't leave as much ink and won't do such a good job when there's a bunch of lead under it. I don't, I do it sometimes, but I don't, not all the times. Like if I do it really faint, but in this one I did not draw really faint. So I'm just put in the detail for the horns. Like so, and just take the ridge of the eye. I'm gonna give Triceratops an innocent looking face. Not like T-Rex, it's just really always looking kind of mad. Not mad, but just like ready for a fight. So, the pen stage I told you is always probably the e easiest in some ways, but it can always be challenging as well. It can be challenging as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put in a little bit just add any details you feel necessary. Hope you guys have gotten this far in the video. Put those in. Now I'm just going to put in the shield. Like so. Put in the Triceratops, as I mentioned in the other video, is very symmetrical, so like, its head can be divided into two halves very well, because it, it's got two horns, well, it's got one nose horn, but that can be split in half. So now I'm just going to put in these spikes, you can skip forward a little bit. And you don't, I always say you can do whatever you want with your picture so don't you don't have to pen it in if you don't want to because I actually don't pen in a lot of my drawings it just gives them a more permanent effect so they'll last longer because pencil ones can smear so yeah this is looking pretty good let's put a little bit of shade in here Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I will be doing scales, too, to make it look more realistic. Let's give everything a little bit of tint of shading. <coughs> um, excuse me. So, I'm just going to put in a little bit of tint to the picture. And now, we will just put in... So I will be using a different pen, actually, just this one here. Uh, that's kind of blurry, but just to put out the scales because it draws a little bit lighter. So you just can put like little circles, and you don't have to you don't have to scale in the entire thing. The one in the game actually doesn't really have distinct scales, but I just put little blotches of scales because. That'll get the impression. The the whole thing has scales. And it works very well. In the end result, it'll look very well, very good. So you just put scales in. It's always a challenging part. Yeah, so just put them like little groups of scales. 
if you want to scale the whole thing in gray, it just might look a little bit messy. So yeah, that's the head is going to look like fully scaled. Not like scaled, like taking scales off, but like I don't know what, what's the word for putting scales on. And then once there's lots of scales, it's, you have to re put in some of the details just so you can see it them better because the scales take a, some stuff away. Something is gained and something is lost. Okay, so that's the head. Now we move on to the legs. So I'm trying to do this in a teaching manner so you guys can follow along. Put in those toe claws. So I hope you guys are following along, okay? So just put in the lines and elbow and you get what I mean. Let's put in the neck. Shade that a bit. Put in the vein. Leads to the head. And as I always see in my videos, if you want a dinosaur for me to draw, please tell me. I do read the comments. Um, so yeah, I'm going to further down the track. I'm going to draw some dinosaur skeletons. Which, that was really fun. People are impressed with those a lot. Even sometimes more than fleshed out dinosaurs. So you can show those to your friends and they'll be like, wow. You do that. You'll say, yep, I did. Because <laughs> skele skeletons are challenging as well. They have their own challenging challenges. Especially T-Rex's skull at this one angle. Well, I'll, you guys just check out that video and you'll see me talking about all the different ways to do skeletons so just the basic skeletons I'm going to do before people start telling me which ones to do are going to be um, Spinosaurus skeleton T-Rex and Brachiosaurus and then I don't want to give away too much of what I'm going to do but I will I'm going to start doing some plesiosaur type things underwater dinosaurs. I know they're not technically dinosaurs, but sea reptiles. <laughs> yeah, sea reptiles. I'm going to. Well, enough of me blabbing. I'm just going to finish off this last leg. Let me see. I'm not traveling. Wow, I'm 13 minutes, not doing too well on time. And I also will do scenes from Jurassic World or Jurassic Parks. If you just um, tell me, I will do, I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure the end, ending T-Rex Roar in Jurassic Park. Jurassic World, I mean. <laughs> Let's put the back bone there. Let's put these lines. Show the vertebrae. A little bit. And just put in the spines. I hope I'm not blocking. Or spikes. And I may do Indominus Rex from Jurassic World, but 
so many other drawers out there have done that one, but I'm not sure if mine may not look as good. But I could just do like the Max Elf and Dominus, which would be different. So I will look into that too. Just I've got such a full bunch of ideas to, to do. I just have a paper in which I write them down on. I get to this one, get to that one. But Triceratops and Majungasaurus are just the basic dinosaurs. People might say it has T-Rex and Triceratops, but Majungasaurus is just a carnivore, so it's basically almost like T-Rex in some ways. Okay, yeah, so this is what Triceratops is looking like so far. Now, I'm going to put in the scales for the body. Your drawing will look very legit once you have the scales in. It just gives that it a finishing touch. So I do encourage you to put scales on. Oh, I'm not shaking camera too much. The top side, which I like, this is usually top side, like this area here and this area there. If you know what I mean, like the top of the arms and legs, or this is bottom side, that's top side. I usually do the top side. I might have been confused. I usually do the top side with scales and darker than the bottom side. Let's put a little bit of shade. I think that's good enough for that leg. Just adding in a few little things. Just put in some scales and shade the feet a little bit. Done with that leg. I don't know, I've already cruised 17 minutes. Which is as long as my Majungasaurus finishing the scaling video. But we did refine and pencil and pen our penny and the triceratops, which so we're doing pretty good in time. In my eyes. So now I'm just gonna just put in every little crack, just fill it in with Parts that look too white, like just don't have enough lines. Those, that's what scales come useful in. And that, that makes it look more reptilian, because I personally don't like um, feathered dinosaurs at all. They just look dumb. <laughs> Even though I know a lot of people think that dinosaurs evolved from birds and stuff. I like the reptilian form of dinosaurs, like from Jurassic World, Jurassic Park a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but the feathers turn me off. It's like, yuck. Like you're gonna lower dinosaurs to chickens? I mean, dinosaurs are much cooler. So we're about I apologize that the other video ended like it did, just my camera ran out of battery. So, <clears throat> I will probably glue this video to my last one. Um, yes, I'm just going to finish up here. Make our Triceratops look completely done. And I, we still have to put in the ground. Shading beneath the triceratops. And some later drawings, like these, the Majungasaurus and Triceratops one were just a dinosaur standing like in the middle of nowhere. But I will do scenery and background in my other later videos. Because those are always interesting. This is going to cross hatch it a bit just to give it a nice look so 
so yeah, this is what our level 30 Triceratops is looking like up to date. Then I do have to erase the remaining pencil lines. But see, it was much easier. You didn't have all that pencil in the way. So, yeah, this is our level 30 Triceratops looks like up to date. And there's one thing left to do. Guess. If you guess sign in, you're right. Okay, just sign your name. With your own fancy signature. There. <laughs> and put in the date. You don't have to put the specific month. Just put in the dates. And when you're looking at this picture, years later, you will know when you drew it. So if you like this video, please share it, put a thumbs up, and leave a comment. And again, thanks for watching. Check out my later videos. So yeah, I hope you like this video a lot, and I will have lots more coming.